I've reported on the fact that Chinese electric car manufacturers are in trouble. A lot of them are. There is 91 at last count. 91 electric car manufacturers in China. As far as we know, only one of them is actually making a profit. Now, you would think, right, that the premium EV makers in China would be making a profit, but like, say, NEO, for example, but NEO does not. NEO never has. Well, what about Hi-Fi? I mean, Hi-Fi sell electric cars all across Europe, luxury electric cars. They've actually gotten really good reviews. Millions of people have seen videos with Hi-Fi EVs. I mean, CarWow's tested them, said they're amazing. They sell them in Europe. They sell them in China, uh, luxury EVs. But unfortunately, it appears as though Hi-Fi may be the first company to go bankrupt this year in China. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Employees will be paid as usual. Well, for about two more days. And apparently after, well, until the 15th of March, Hi-Fi employees in only Shanghai, the rest of its employees will be gone, will receive basic pay. So some sort of minimum stipend to make sure that they can um, eat. CNET Post has reported that um, as electric car vehicle manufacturers celebrate the first working day of the Chinese Lunar New Year, premium EV maker Human Horizons, Hi-Fi brand is halting production. It's game over, marking a further deterioration in its operations. Now, incredibly, these guys have outsold Porsche. They've outsold every premium legacy automaker in China when it comes to high-end EV sales. Uh, they're the number one seller in China for luxury EVs over the price of 100,000 US dollars. They outsell Mercedes Benz in that segment, but it's not enough. You can't just do this in one country, even if that country is China. Shanghai based Hi Fi held an internal meeting on the 18th of February and announced a production halt with immediate effect. This was reported by CNF Post and Chinese media yesterday. Employee salaries prior to February 18 will be paid as usual. And while well, February 18 has just come and gone. Now, employees who remain with the company for the next uh, just over three weeks until the 15th of March will receive only basic salaries. And after March the 15th, only its small number of Shanghai employees will receive any further basic salaries. And I'm going to guess that those salaries will probably not go on for very, very long, those basic salaries. Previously, Hi-Fi had announced in an all-staff meeting that it was postponing January salaries. It couldn't pay salaries in January. Cancelling year-end awards and taking a pay cut across the board with January salaries to be paid at the end of February. So yeah, I mean, they're way behind in just paying wages to staff. Hi-Fi was founded in 2017. And it was targeting the premium EV sector. There's actually quite a lot of good reviews for their vehicles. The starting price is around seventy thousand US dollars, but yeah, I mean, the, the kind of target price was around the hundred thousand dollar sector. It unveiled its first model, the Hi-Fi X, in October of twenty twenty, which began deliveries in May twenty twenty one, and it currently has a starting price of around about seventy five thousand US dollars. But it's a big vehicle. It's got a big battery pack. It's got a lot of luxury features. They're not cheap to build. In fact. Hi-Fi make a loss even at that price. In August of 2022, Hi-Fi launched its second model, the Hi-Fi Z, which is priced at around 510,000 yen. So similar price, around 70,000 US dollars for the cheapest version. On the 15th of July, 2023, Hi-Fi launched its least expensive model um, to try and enter the more people could actually afford to get into. They launched the Hi-Fi Y, and that was priced much cheaper at around 50,000 US dollars. After the National Day holiday in early October last year, rumors began to circulate on social media that Hi-Fi would be laying off employees because it was massively struggling. On one social media platform, a user certified as a Hi-Fi employee said the company would lay off more than 20% of its workforce and up to 50% in some departments. Hi-Fi later denied these rumors and said that the situation was a normal staff turnover, but obviously um, 
It wasn't. It was the beginning of the end. On October 25, 2023, Chinese media reported that Hi-Fi management gave verbal notification of layoffs to some executives involving every department. Now, realistically, unfortunately, the truth is Hi-Fi had been looking for investors for a long time, but the company had been hemorrhaging money and investors just decided to steer clear. Now, they do make pretty good EVs. Uh, You'd think maybe some company, uh, some legacy automaker might come along and just buy the company. But companies like the Volkswagen Group, who recently spent billions of dollars investing in the Chinese EV companies, even they steered clear. It's not really clear why that is. It's not really it's not really transparent. We don't really know the inner workings of this company. We don't know how much money they're really losing. We don't know about the management team. But we do know that um, it appears as though Hi-Fi, as we now know them, will no longer exist within approximately one month's time. All car production has officially ceased. Thanks for watching.